Greetings adventurers, it's me Lila, and I know for sure why you clicked on this video. She is finally here guys, the moment we've all been waiting for. Oh my gosh, she is ready to meet you. And I'm literally from the bottom of my heart, so honored to do this very first unboxing video for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Dark Knight. I have never really done an unboxing video of anything in my life actually and making my very first unboxing video of something of such a big deal like Dark Knight figuring is just literally mind-blowing but if I do have something that I really like to do or if I go a little further with exaggeration a little talent of mine is that I just love unboxing packages I mean seriously don't you just love it when you receive a package I'd say you know bigger the better you get an excitement in your stomach, just like the ones you used to have as a child in front of the big Christmas tree with all kinds of presents in front of you. We, as an adult, know what it is in the package now. Cause come on, we're the ones who ordered it, right? But that's not the part that matters. The part that really matters is that little thing of excitement that you get when unboxing it. So enough with this chit chat. I'm just saying that I'll do my best to deliver the excitement as well as the details of the figurine we've all been waiting for since the last title ball. We are here to see this magnificent statue that is held inside. Oh, before I start, I should mention that this very figurine is co-produced with Blitzway, a Korean figurine production company well known for their qualities and details. The quantity that is available for this purchase of the figurine is limited to 2,000, no more, no less. So for those of you who are interested, keep that in mind while watching. So let's start with unboxing. Why don't we start with the size of the box? What did I say, guys? When it comes to the size of the package, the bigger, the better. Okay. So for the box itself, the length is about 400 millimeters and the width is 350 millimeters. And the height, which can also be a hint of the very height of the figurine itself, is about 550 millimeters so i guess we can say that the statue is approximately 550 millimeters tall but let's see later if my guess is right okay now i'll start with the clear wrapping paper oh uh, oh can you guys see these tiny holes punched on the wrapper some of you might already know especially if you have children. But there are accidents with children suffocating when they sometimes play inside of these type of large wrappers. So to prevent that, there are these tiny holes punched on. Thoughtful, huh? Okay now, gently opening it. Look at the image, look at the printing on the box. Isn't this such of a high quality? Okay. <gasps> wow, okay, you guys have to see this. There is this hole here and this is to like pull this out more conveniently. But this is also here because when this gets shipped abroad, the heat like, tend to get locked in the box. And you know, that can be the reason ruining the figurine. And that's why, like, you know, we don't want that to happen. So it's there to keep that um, incident from happening to our precious figurine and to let out the heat. So yeah, I just wanted to mention that. I keep talking about holes, right? Thoughtful, huh? So these styrofoam box and the strap is protecting the figurine very well inside. I think it's a manual, but I'll, I'll open it and see. Oh, it's not long. <laughs> okay, so there are like basic steps for us to, you know, follow to complete this statue. Like we have to put it together and I think it's not gonna be that hard. Let me try, like if I get it right, I guarantee you guys are gonna manage just fine. So <laughs> let me try. Uh, on with the straps. Yeah, opening it. <gasps> oh my gosh. Like, can you guys see this? I'll just let her out in a moment. As you can see is the, I guess like the base of the figurine, like the bottom part and the details to, you know, decorate it. And this is 
the Dark Knight herself. Okay, I'm ready. Ta-da! See, this is the base of the figurine. And let's see the details. So here, it says the Dark Knight on the silver um, metal. Yeah, like the roses are carved on the side of this base. And as you can see, this is the ground and the texture here. The texture is very well presented. You can almost like feel the rough texture of the ground and the ground breaking. Okay, I'll put it here. Let's really start. You know, even with Legos, I used to play a lot with Legos in my childhood. This brings back my memories of my childhood. And I used to like put the biggest part first. It goes here. Oh, I just had to have to mention, do you guys see this pretty purple roses on the branches? Like, they're like a clear purple branches and roses. It's so pretty, it's like a jewel. Here, it goes here, is going to be here. Okay, little push. Okay, that works. Yeah, it's time to meet the Dark Knight. As you guys can see, she is gorgeous. Like her silver hair and her pose and everything, she's like very chic. Oh, and this metal part here, remember to take this out when you put it together, but um, it's actually here to prevent the legs from spreading because when, you know, like it might ruin the pose. Let's try put this in the right. Okay, don't forget her sword. Oh, is this right? Ta-da! This is the final look, guys. What's the first color that comes into your mind when you think about Dark Knight? For me, it's black and purple. And just these, this presentation screams the Dark Knight. As you can see, the preview video that you saw before and at the height of all was not a lie. I'd say quality actually excelled my expectation and it's awesome. The details, you should definitely see this for yourself. The shade and the color is overall very well expressed. And if you see the outfit, like the texture is on point. You can see the leather, you can see the metal, you can see the shiny part and the sharp blade. It's, it's there, guys. The armor looks really strong and stable, which makes us imagine how strong she can be in the battlefield slaying those enemies. And let's not forget about her face, guys. You know, I asked all those adventurers which class they think is the prettiest. I know that's a very cheesy question. I asked it anyway, so. And they, like, most of them said the Dark Knight. And I can see why. Like, her face expression is very well presented. Like, it looks very chic. Her personality looks chic and adorable. And her shiny silver hair and delicate face structure, it's, it's pure attractive, guys. And seeing her gesture, like, we can feel her strong muscle underneath her smooth skin, it's very well expressed. It's like we can almost see her coming to life because of all these details. And I mean, like, I personally think when it comes to the figurine, it's the details that matters. What I personally like about this figurine is that how this delivers that this particular female class is not only beautiful outside, but can be deadly as well. And let's talk about weapons. Like this is the sword. This is a main sword that she uses as a main weapon. And this is called Kriegsmesser. And one thing to notice about this particular weapon is that it's, it's actually taller than Dark Knight. And it sure looks like it's going to slay all those enemies with no trouble whatsoever. Well, that is it for the unboxing video of the Dark Knight. I hope this video helped you with your interest towards this beautiful statue and, you know, also answered your questions along the way too. I know you were all excited to meet her and I'm super happy that she is finally ready for you guys. For those of you who are interested in purchasing this statue, you can find out more from the Purvis official online shop. I had a lot of fun doing this unboxing video with you guys and I hope you enjoyed it too. I'm looking forward to meeting more amazing items like this in the future and I definitely have high hopes for our next figure after meeting this one. The Dark Knight rose the bar way up in the air, guys. Okay then, let me know if you guys enjoyed it too. Have a good one, adventures, and I'll meet you, fingers crossed, very, very soon. Bye!